Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think what I'm going to be doing here is side questing. So, let's go over to what is the driving range. Yeah, all these are in the same order as all the other clubs, so you'll always know which pathway leads to which particular area that you're looking for. So yeah, it's driving range first. You want to drive the ball further? Yeah, sure, what the heck. And master a high shot to use high tailwinds. Yeah, actually no. <laughs> And you like accuracy more. Yes! And use a low shot in headwinds. It'll be affected less. Okay, let's say no. And then no. An accurate shot is one of those basic principles. But that kind of shot takes diligent practice. Hmm. I don't... I guess he's like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm working on intentional shots. Yeah, purposely curving the shot. Wanna try? Sure! On harder courses, if you can't hook and slice, you won't make score. Intentional shots help if you're stuck between traps. That tree blocks you from getting a good lie from here. You could hit a high ball, but try side spin. You need accuracy. You just use normal power. Use a one wood for distance from the crystals of me. Press the control pad in the direction. Yeah, we already know this basically. That's what I thought. <laughs> so he's gonna make it go right to left. An intentional draw, basically. And he hit the tree, but. <laughs> It really doesn't matter if you hit the tree, in all honesty, in this sort of shot, unless you hit directly into the bark, and, you know, it bounces back, but that's so actually, that's actually really hard to do, because the tree is a lot thinner than it shows on the map. So what I'm gonna do is aim about right here, I think, and I'll just follow his lead. There we go. I don't think I'll hit the tree at this angle anyway. Mm, yeah, that's what I thought. My shot, I think, is a little better than his because I didn't hit the tree. Because I was, well, I mean, I was, didn't hit any obstacle. And that was kind of the whole point of the drill. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see the coach here. Well, you know, pro. Power shots are limited, so we'll use them all up. Make a perfect power shot and you won't lose it. Three T shots right on, hazards and no sweat. But if not, adjust your impact point to compensate. I'm practicing good shots. Want to study with me? Yeah, sure. If you're gonna hit, ever hit it right, but didn't get to the pin, it's proud because you didn't get your win. If your club only gets you to the middle of the green, you'll come up short, but a higher club puts you over. So you have to consider strength too. For an accurate iron shot, normal power is fine. Next, choose a club. It looks like a headwind. I'll try a bigger club. So she's gonna be hitting two iron, I guess. Remember, choose a club that is most appropriate for your character. She's using the club for her character, and that's a really good shot, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I can top that. At least not with a lot of tries. Yup. Mm -hmm. I most certainly would like to try, because this is a side quest. And I would like to get the old experience points. Um, this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna aim a little bit left, though. And there we go. Getting the all! <laughs> mm, shoot, 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 it's actually long, no! You betrayed me, wind. You betrayed me. <laughs> I guess the wind doesn't cut off that much. Okay, let's try it again. Yep, that was not close enough, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm still gonna aim a little bit left, I think. And uh, this someone cut off the power and put backspin on the shot. Like just the notch off the power and put backspin on it. it. Doesn't take all that much, I think. That's not bad, but I don't think it'll get me the experience points. Mm, nope, I didn't think so. <laughs> It's Windy Valley all over again, no. <laughs> it couldn't possibly be that bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit, aim as straight forward this time with regular power, not pressing down or anything. I think on that last shot I hit um, down right. I wasn't paying much attention, but ooh, that's pretty decent. Not, not as good as hers, though, but pretty decent. <laughs> but yeah, I think I hit down right due to the Xbox D-pad and wasn't paying attention because that, that other shot went a little bit far le further left than it should have. Ooh, level up! Okay, let's see what we got. Let's just keep our shot straight here. Raising any other stat will make our shot turn into a draw, and I don't want that. Alright, so we're done there. Let's go to the approach practice range, shall we? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, first take a little shot over here at the practice tee. And see what we can do. Uh, can we get it close to the hole? Maybe. Can we get it in the hole? Maybe. That sure would be fun if I could. Uh, oh! <laughs> I think I just have to aim like a pixel left, and it'll go in the hole. Is that a is that a pixel? Yeah, it looks like a pixel. Let's try it. Oh, shoot! 
I missed it. I have to try that again. If it doesn't go in the hole. <laughs> and it probably won't go in the hole because it's going to end up short. Yeah, in the bunker. Okay. Full power. No! No! I wonder if I should be using a, a four wood with power. Maybe. Uh, but let's just see if, you know, if I can manage to hit this perfectly. There we go. And let's see how it lands. If it lands too far or something, I'll just change. Oh! That's about as good as I can get it, really, I'm thinking. So you know what? I'm gonna quit this practice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna try the four wood. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Do you know how to put spin on the ball? Well, yes! Try not approach with something besides a putter. Did he say- wait, he said a putter? Yeah, you can't spin anything with a putter. Let's say no this time. Use a control pad after the shot gauge begins moving. Press up to make the ball roll, press down to make it stop quickly. They're, they're showing a lot of this sort of stuff on the, uh... Um, but like they're showing a lot about the spin in these practice areas. When you spin on the ball, it makes the approach fun. Using backspin makes it, it's all up to you. Mm, did you think approach shots only use a sandwich or pitching wedge? Uh, well, no, I didn't, but we'll say yes. <laughs> That's okay at first, but you can't attack with a wedge. Use different clubs to try shooting for the pin. Uh, I'll say no this time. Learning that in such a short time is impressive. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying running approaches on sloped greens. Getting a sense of direction is hard. Wanna try? Yeah, sure. On a sloped green, try to get a sense of the distance to be climbed. Also keep in mind that you can't calculate the run for the fairway. Uh, that's a serious climb from the ball to the pin. I don't get my ball up that hill. Can't make par for strict distance. And the club, what? It's only two yards to the green edge, so I'll use a putter. I wish you luck with that. <laughs> I'll try the putter myself as well. But, uh, that's pretty decent. I think of her putts, especially in those conditions. <laughs> yes, I would. All right, let's see here. Uh, power shots. Get it, power shot red, but it's not really a power shot. I'm gonna hit about there, a little bit less than what she hit, and I didn't move the cursor at all because I think her ball was pushed left by the break. Eh, eh, that's not bad. Hey, you're good. I'm gonna train, so I won't lose. Woo! Okay, so I got that one done. Bunker shot, yes I am! You need the right club to explode sand and free the ball. For a bunker guarding the green, use your sandwich. Bunker that guards the green is a guard bunker. From ball to pin, I'd say it's about 20 yards. Who's choose an approach and choose a club. Carry it 15 yards and roll it 5 yards. I'll try it with a sandwich. I wish you luck with that. I don't think uh, at this distance you'd be better off with a sandwich in all honesty. I think you'd be, you'd be better off with an approach and then a higher club. Yeah, I would like to try that, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna play my own game here. Because here, watch this. Well, it's, it's a lower number club. I'm gonna do do this with a two iron. I'm a little bit left of the pin. Yeah, it looks good. And I'm gonna hit a little bit more than 20 yards because of the sand. And look at that run up to the hole. See that? Yeah, I prefer running the balls uh, when you're near the green like that. Just because it seems to be easier to predict overall. So yeah. All right, looks like this place is done. So let's go over to the Budding Green. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what's coming, don't you? You're stepping over my putting line. It's better than stepping on it, but what manners? Yeah, don't walk in people's lines when you are, uh, uh, I mean, when they're putting or before they're putting, because it messes up, I mean, it might mess up the green blades and that could mess up their putts. Yeah, it's just good etiquette, basically, to not do that. Keep that in mind if you're playing real deal golf. Who's dragging their feet as they walk on the green? You don't have to fix any damage done by your spikes. Yeah, that's another thing. Don't drag your feet on the greens. Greens are pretty delicate. They're soft and mushy and also soft and smooth. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to putt with you just yet. I want to talk to the other peeps. Uh huh. You want? I'll move my marker. No, you're good. A ball marker is something that you can uh, mark your ball with on the green if you want to clean your ball or uh, uh, mark it so that other people don't knock your ball or whatnot um, and stuff like that on the green. It's it's a handy little tool. It's a little. It's like a little coin with a spike underneath it. I don't get the putt first, so oh, wait a second. Let me mark my ball. Uh, well, actually, some people don't use ones with spikes. Sometimes they use coins or uh, actually, you could use anything to mark your ball. <laughs> Uh, you could use a cupcake if you wanted to, <laughs> but uh, it, it, it probably would be a bad idea. <laughs> you want to use something that's smaller than your ball, really, so it's not really 
you know, distracting your opponent or knock your opponent's ball out of the way or if they roll over it or something like that. So yeah, I should say, not, not necessarily opponent either, even you like your playing partners as well, or if you're just playing with someone for the fun of it, and you know, you know what I'm saying here. And again, golf is always fun, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Let's hit that circle. Get in the hole! Oh shoot, that's short, that's short, that's short! Ah, oh, too bad. Oh, one, you made zero. So yeah, that's the dialogue that you get if you miss. And I don't want to miss. I want to get as many in there as I possibly can, so I don't have to redo this from the start. <laughs> uh, this looks like a good angle... Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. Maybe I'll aim a little bit more left. Just a smidge. Uh, might be a little bit too much power. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> mm oh, side hill. These are evil. These are kind of evil. And yeah, it's, it's so hard to predict the break when there's so much side hill like that. Uh, I need a little. Oh, why did I let that go? Like, <laughs> oh, oh, that stunk. Okay, let's see if we can get this near... That It's gonna be short. Oh no! Oh no! I should restart this from the beginning, actually. Because I am... at a losing battle now. <laughs> I believe you gotta get eight. So yeah, I'm already... already outside the threshold of victory. <laughs> uh, yes, and why did I select no on the second one there? I don't know, I got hasty! Okay, here we go. Uh, I guess you do. Uh, you, oh, I could have continued on. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, because he said seven or more times. So, seven or more times. If I would have made all the putts um, from there on out, you know, in that circle, I would have still won uh, this little putting mini game here. But, well, I misinterpreted. <laughs> That's my own fault. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still good enough. I prefer getting in the hole. Cause it's a little bit more like a, I guess I guess you could say a backstop. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Don't go out. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna aim way left. And go in, go in, go in. But yeah, hitting the hole is it cuts off a lot of the power of the shot. That's why I'm aiming uh, directly towards the hole for the most part here, just to be as safe as possible. But you know, you can only do so much. In your predictions. This is golf after all. It's not a game of perfection. As much as it may feel like it. It's a game of fewest shots. And that's that doesn't necessarily mean perfection, it means good placement. Which is why they make you hit into a circle and not in the hole for this drill, because uh, really when you're lagging putts off up to the hole, you don't or you aren't necessarily aiming to get it in per se. I mean yeah, getting it in is ideal, but you want to make sure that your shot up to the hole won't go too far past or too far short of the hole, that you won't be able to make a second putt into the hole. You know, you always want to uh, two putt a hole if you can help it. One putt is best, of course, always, but uh, two putt is, isn't too shabby in itself. All right, and that completes the Palm Club's stars. Aw, yeah. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go over to... Well, I could actually go over there now. To the lounge, pick up the Palm Club champion. Well, ex-champion. And have a match game versus her. Sound good? Good.